Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to first look at Martin Odegaard having Real Madrid concern as transfer stance becomes clear amid Arsenal interest and then we're going to look at Inter Milan telling Arsenal exactly how they can sign Lautaro Martinez this summer. So the first transfer line states that Martin Odegaard has Real Madrid concern as transfer stance becomes clear amid Arsenal interest. So the reports are stating that Martin Odegaard is a target for Arsenal this summer and the Norway captain has concerns over his role at Real Madrid. Martin Odegaard is likely to be sold by Real Madrid this summer. Martin Odegaard, who spent the second half of last season on loan at Arsenal, is wanted again by Mikel Arteta as the Gunners boss looks to sign a new creative midfielder. It has now been reported that the Norway captain wanted to stay and fight for his place on the new Madrid boss Carl Ancelotti, but the 22-year-old now has some concerns over his role in the Spanish capital. Carl Ancelotti played a 4-3-3 against Rangers in Los Blancos' pre-season friendly recently, and the three midfield spots are likely to go to Casemiro, Luka Modric and Tony Cruz, something that concerns Martin Odegaard. It was reported late last month that Arsenal still were still hopeful of signing the Norway international and that Martin Odegaard himself would be open to re-signing for the Gunners. The Real Madrid playmaker featured 20 times under Mikel Arteta in all competitions last season and impressed in the process. Upon his exit from Arsenal when the campaign concluded, Martin Odegaard sent a farewell message to the club's supporters. He wrote this on Instagram. At Arsenal, thank you so much for these six months. My time with the Arsenal family will always hold a special place in my heart. I want to thank everyone in and around the club for the way you made me feel like a part of the family since the first day. Special thanks to the fans, even without you guys at the stadium for the majority of the season, I felt you with me at all times. A huge thank you to the boss and his staff for everything I've learned during my stay. Thank you also to all my teammates for such a great time on and off the pitch. We'll miss you all. Thank you, Gunners family, always in my heart. Real Madrid are likely to want €50 million, Euros, which is €42.6 million pounds for Martin Odegaard if he was to leave the Spanish club and would prioritise a permanent exit for the midfielder because of the contract situation. James Madison is also a target for Mikel Arteta, but it is understood that despite there being no formal approach for the Leicester City midfielder from Arsenal, it is understood that the Gunners have sounded out the possibility of signing James Madison through intermediaries. So it looks like Martin Odegaard has Real Madrid concern as transfer stance becomes clear amid Arsenal interest. And the major concern for Martin Odegaard is the fact that he needs to be playing regular minutes and that's something that he thinks he won't be able to achieve at Real Madrid and him being a number 10 by trade, he will probably find it difficult to make it into Real Madrid's 4-3-3 formation and with three of their best midfielders, Tony Cruz, Luka Modric and Casemiro, I think there's a very slim chance for Martin Odegaard to really be a starter for Real Madrid. So he is someone that is very passionate to join Arsenal to get a lot of minutes. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Inter Milan tell Arsenal exactly how they can sign Lautaro Martinez this summer. So the reports are stating that the Gunners are eyeing a major attacking signing in the coming weeks. Inter Milan have told Arsenal that they aren't interested in a part exchange for Lautaro Martinez this summer. The Gunners are eyeing a new forward but will have to match Inter Milan's hefty fee demands to sign Lautaro Martinez this month. Mikel Arteta has got exciting attacking stars at his disposal such as Nicola Pepe, Emil smith Rowe, and Bukayo Saka. Questions lie over his more experienced options though, particularly Willian, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Alexandre Lacazette. Willian and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang endured frustrating 2020-2021 campaigns while Alexandre Lacazette's current contract expires in 11 months. The circumstances have prompted Mikel Arteta to reportedly target attacking reinforcements this summer, with Lautaro Martin at the forefront of links. According to Mundo Deportivo, Inter have set their price for Lautaro Martinez and will not entertain a swap deal for one of their prize assets. The Serie A champions are demanding €68.3 million, which is €80 million Euros in straight cash for Lautaro Martinez this summer. Mundo Deportivo will claim also were ready to offer Alexandre Lacazette and Hector Bellerin as parts of a deal. 
However, Inter's valuation is set and the Gunners would have to increase their total ex summer expenditure to almost £150 million to secure his services. If Arsenal were to offload a few first-team stars and meet Inter Milan's demands, Martinez could become the club's record signing. Nicola Pepe joined from Lille in a £72 million deal in 2019, but potential add-ons could push Lautaro Martinez's fee over that total. After already splashing £50 million on Brighton defender Ben White this summer, Miklos said that will have to sanction sales before making another marquee signing. Even with Granite Xhaka set to stay, there are plenty of valuable assets Miklos said they can afford to let go to fund a move for Lautaro Martinez. Alexandre Lacazette, who Lautaro Martinez will likely replace, is valued at £25 million on transfer marks, but Leno could move down the pecking order if also sign a new goalkeeper and is still worth £20 million. Lucas Torreira's future is unclear and the Gunners could get £18 million for his services. Other fringe players in Ainsley Maitland-Niles and Eddie Nketiah are all worth £14 million. Also have enough talent in their squad to raise funds to pursue Lautaro Martinez this summer, but transfers are easier said than done. So it looks like Inter Milan tell also exactly how they can sign Lautaro Martinez this summer. But one thing for certain is the fact that Miklos Sessa and Arsenal and especially Edu are looking for an attacking player in the summer transfer window, someone that could fill any of those forward positions, especially that striker role, and Lautaro Martinez, someone that has impressed heavily for Inter Milan helping them win the Scudetto, and impressed for Argentina helping Lionel Messi lift his first Copa America, I think when it comes to Lautaro Martinez, Inter Milan only want cash, and if Arsenal wants to go in to sign Lautaro Martinez, they have to give that £68.9 million Inter Milan are asking for and get this deal over the line. So he could be a great addition in my opinion. So we will have to wait and see how Arsenal will use the summer transfer window in the end. Make sure you check out the FA Cup post to use a special link I will put below in the description and smash that like button to see if you can reach 30 likes. Also subscribe for more daily videos and share the video with your Arsenal friends and family. Click one of the latest videos on the screen and I'll see you there.